Jake. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endureth forever. All that keep it shall come to life, and such as leave it shall die. Powerful. That's that's a basic scripture, but very powerful, right? Yeah. I hear that, brother. How y'all know about that? Yeah, how you know about that? That's the style, Ain't the style. That's why you gotta do it. Oh, okay, uh, okay. What, 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 what are y'all? You're a Hebrew? A Hebrew what? Israelite. Are you? Yeah. Okay, so you're not an Ishmaelite? What's that? Arab? No, no. Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew. Okay, that's what's up. Where y'all from? New York. From New York? Yes, okay. Where, uh, where did your fathers go back to? Hebrew. Gone. Okay, see, that's what I'm saying, see? But, hey, but even though you from, from Peru, you know, from Persia, uh, from Iran, don't mean you can't be still. It's like we scattered no, over the whole earth. No matter where you're from. That's God right. That's right. No, wait, wait a minute now. He ain't with everybody. He's with his people, the Israelites. Right? Want to say something? Go ahead. My man got something to say. What you got to say? It's okay. Where you from, bro? All right. Planet Earth. Oh, oh now you're from planet Earth. <laughs> now you're from planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yo, so how y'all know about the Israelites, though? We Israelites. In our blood. In your, what you say? Well, you know what? We know through the Holy Spirit. We had teachers that taught us, and it's it's, it was prophesied that the Israelites would come over to this side of the world in slavery. Right, right, right. Right? And we know that over in in, in the lands where you brothers were, are you, did you originally live in Iran? Or? No, no, no. My parents. Parents? I was born like Iran. Okay, cool. So, yeah, but over in, in your home country, you know, which is really not your country, but, you know, because if you're Israelites, your country is Israel. But over there, people do have, they know that we're the real Israelites. You better believe it. Yeah. How do you know that? I've never, I've never heard from them. If I tell my dad, I tell, I tell my dad, you didn't believe me. If I, if I tell my dad, if I tell my dad, oh, this, that, they'll be like, I never heard of this. Yeah, because it hadn't been taught. It's prophesied in the Bible that in the end times, it prophesied in the end times that we will wake up out of the sleep. It's called the sleep. Right? In the Valley of Dry Bones in Ezekiel 37, it's prophesied that the Israelites in the end days will wake up and stand upon their feet. So all this time it's been taken away from us. It's even prophesied that the people in the Holy Land now, called Jewish, that Esau eat them. Okay. Yeah. But like, well, Ashkenazi is the title they put on themselves. They're really Edomites. They're really Esau. Yeah. So we understand though, they're Edomites. Well, how did, we can say that, but how do you prove? Like a lot of I, I heard people say like. Uh, no, I've seen the quotes, but I've heard people say like Dominicans are really Jews. They're this tribe, right. that tribe. Well, we but, know through prophecy. That's really the only, only way. Prophecy. Could prophecy. Be, if well, what was you gonna say? Go prophecy ahead. Prophecy could be like uh, translated in many different ways. Almost, you know, it's it's vague. It's very vague. It is vague. Say, say all but that's why you gotta have it. That's why you gotta have the Holy Spirit, though. It confirms it. It confirms it. Plus, on top of that, who else will be doing what we're doing? And he's last day, your friend. He hey, he recognized right away from the from the fringes. I will say, yeah. I it's it's a it's a writing. massive yeah. It's a massive. You see that? What's what's that? That's Paleo, Hebrew. Paleo Hebrew. Paleo, Paleo. Paleo. See how you know that? No, brother, I studied. Paleo, he, he know this Paleo Hebrew. Of course I know. See that? Certain okay. Stones, I know. I That's know. what's up. See. I was now. Up, I went to school. This I know. I went to middle school. I don't I don't know the new Bible, but the. The new Bible, uh, yeah. but the old one, studied it in and out. Okay. Up with it, all these things. Okay. Know? Yeah, yeah, but, I'm going to read you in, something. Uh, in Ashkenazi school. Understand? You went in Ashkenazi school, but they're imposters. Uh, they, and it's I, predicted so. in the Bible that they would do that. Now, I got to, let just trying to, let me hook up right here real quick. So and I'm going to get how this. Do we know, how do we not know that only, like, my kind, let's say, like Persian, Moroccan, Yemenite Jews are not the only ones? Sephardim, Middle Eastern Jews. Because we're scattered all over the whole earth. And Bible prophecy has said that we would be scattered all over the whole earth. Not just in one particular region, but it said when the Lord takes his remnant the second time, he's going to get us from all those lands you mentioned, as well as, it said in a particular place where the Israelites would come to, a particular place known as Babylon the Great. Every place is not Babylon the Great. You know what Babylon the Great is? You're standing in it right now. America is Babylon the Great, the whore of Babylon, right? The daughter of Babylon, because ancient Babylon was over there in the region where your family came from. Right. Over there in Iran, you know, the Met, Met, Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. That was ancient Babylon. But it's a daughter of Babylon in the future. Matter of fact, let me, I'm going to go there first. Listen to this. This is Isaiah 47. Listen to this. 
Isaiah 47 verse 1. So since you know about Babylon, this is it's gonna say something different. Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Another place, not ancient Babylon, right? Yeah. Listen. Why does he listen, daughter? Because it's a new, it's another Babylon. A place that would take after his ways. And because the word Babylon goes back to the word Babel, meaning confusion. Virgin is like, it's a, good, it's a good thing to say, no? It's a good thing in our in our world, you know, as far as our culture to say a virgin is a good thing. But this is talking about a place that's never been touched, basically. Okay, that's why America doesn't have major wars that haven't broke out over here in the society because it's the virgin daughter. But every other place, you see wars been there, right? It's ravaged by war. I mean, America also a lot of war. What do you mean? But not, war. not on the soils of America as far as like a, a big war. You see, how, you see how they go over and they bomb Iraq, you know, in different other places, yeah. Libya, Syria. Yeah, that ain't happening over here, though. Look at this place. Beautiful. It's, put, it's, it's well put together. Now, let me listen to this. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. The prophecy is saying it's going to come a time where this place is not going to be called tender and delicate. Verse 6 says this. Hold on. Verse 6. Listen. Listen to this. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and have given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient, hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. What is a yoke? It's, symb it's symbolic of slavery, right? Smart, 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 smart. Right, so this is the thing. The scripture says, it started out talking about the virgin daughter of Babylon. But then it said, the Lord gave his people into the hand of the daughter of Babylon. Right? right. right? So that's how we know in that's the end time. Maybe that's what me, scripture says, Isaiah 47. Quote. Maybe send me that quote, text me. All right, also, let me, let me get you this now. So if the people of the Lord left Israel, they've been scattered to the four corners of the earth and mainly in Babylon. Who's over there in, 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 uh, in Israel now? This is who it is. Let me give it to you. No, the people in Israel now, they're not Israelites. They're not okay? Israelites. No, they're not Israelites. I'm going to read it to you who they are. This is who the people are now over there. Ezekiel 36, verse 5, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. You got heathen nations living over there. And against all Idumia. Idumia is Edom. Esau. Oh, right? right? The Esau. fake Jews. Yeah, the fake Jews. They're, they're Esau. Yeah. The Jewish people are Esau. It says, and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession, with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds, they cast it out for a prey. See? So while we lay scattered into all the earth as Israelites, he our land, he our land is being occupied by Edomites. Why not true? It's so, not why, so why is it that, like, let's say the not really Persians, the they Syrians, they Hebrews, like, how come they didn't get scattered? They've stayed in that region for like since since 2000, 3000, since the beginning, no? They haven't been scattered. Like, ask again. How come then, like, the Persian, Syrian Jews, and all that, they haven't been scattered? They've been in that region the whole time. Well, now you even got some real Israelites are still back there in the land. Every right. captivity that Israelites have been into, some of them stayed behind. You know, and they, they stay where they were. Because we got scattered through, like, for example, you still got Israelites living in Egypt. You still got Israelites in Africa. You got Israelites everywhere, all over the whole earth. So to answer your question, is just because that's just how the Lord... We got a group over here? Got a, yeah, we got every, in every city, in every place. It's, it, man, right now, you it, there are... Did you guys help out each other? We got a group of We're going to talk scripture. Hey, yeah, uh, all right. I see you. I know you. I've been seeing you up on the corner. I know you do. I've been seeing you. How you doing? Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, you no, can't. I was good. Yes, we want to talk some scripture. We talk scripture. Uh, we can, uh, I thought you said you had to go. Yeah, I, 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 listen. We all with God. You all with who? We all with God. What's his name? Allah. Wrong. Allah is not God. I'm saying that's, that's well, well, wait a minute. Well, the word Allah, the word Allah does mean, the word Allah does mean, does mean God. Right. It just means God. It's just a title. Said the world well, but who is the one true and living God? What's his name? Uh oh, you getting close. You close. You close. You been watching? You been watching our videos? Have you been watching the Hebrews lights on? On? Uh, you been watching the Hebrews lights? Anywhere from anywhere? Do you believe in the Son? Of, you believe in the Son of, of God? Yes, I believe in God. You don't believe in the Son. Speak. Somewhat. We don't. I mean, we. You gotta realize we're coming out of captivity, so we learn. You know, we're yeah. It's predicted. It's prophesied that we're not gonna get the pure, holy tongue back until we're in the kingdom. But we know enough to say prayers. We know enough. Yeah, Lashawan Kodash.
Go ahead, Mr. Questions. We know the same way we know that we're Israelites and any other thing. We know through faith. You know through faith. And you get confirmation through the Holy Spirit. That's how we know. Matter of fact, um, hold on. Let me read you something. All right, this is what the Son of God said. Hold on. Yeah, it's live stream. Oh, it's live stream. Yeah. On YouTube? Live stream on YouTube. See that? You got right now 177 people watching. Damn. All right, so now. Y'all go down, give me the channel information. I want to learn more. Okay, no problem. My friend wants to go now, so it's like, All right. Yeah, now, to answer your question, you said, how do we know certain things that we know, right? Right, right. All right, so here it is. This is uh, John. Hold on. But you see, like, I wouldn't trust this stuff. I look in the actual Bible with the Hebrew letters. And this is about, oh, okay. So you can read like, actual Hebrew. I, yeah, I read actual Hebrew. So if you, know, if you know this is Paleo Hebrew. I don't know Paleo Hebrew. I know it's Paleo Hebrew. I don't know how to okay, read then, it, there but you I, go. Could, All I right, could look then. at the charts and get an idea. But like, I, I know the other Hebrew, the right, Aleph, the Syrian Hebrew. Gibble. Yeah, you know the Syrian Hebrew. Just give me a second, there. Yeah. So this is John 14, verse 26. It says, "But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance." I'm still waiting to see that. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm giving it to you now. You get it through the Holy Spirit. So you looking for something tangible. No, no, no. You look for something tangible. that the world, well, yeah, but you want the world to, to, you know, to. You know, there's, I learn in every, I learn in every direction. Science. Nah, it right, has to but what connect. I'm saying is this is a spiritual thing. I know. It ain't, it's not, it's not going to connect with, with the world. Because look. has to connect with everything. No, it's, it's not, not going to connect with everything. Because let me, let me, let me the scriptures say this. Real quick, before you go. It says this. John 15, 26. But when, but when the comforter has come, whom I will send unto you from the Father. Right? It says. Even the spirit of truth which proceeded That's from the happened. Father, he shall it's testify of me. Friend, okay. It's just like, look, maybe give you information. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Tell me maybe your contacts something. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. YouTube channel, GMS. Narrator. Yep. <laughs> SC. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. All right, yep. Get some arrows, man. These guys, man. <laughs> Holy moly donut shop. <laughs> yeah, probably fucking agents, man. He looking for something tangible. They want something, you know. Ha ha. One free bear claw every lunch break. <laughs> Motherfucker had a hairy chest. Golly. Okay guys, since you've been here many times before, I'm gonna make it short and sweet. Buddy, come on. Okay, as you know, this over here is my place. This is the Holy Moly Donut Shop, huh? Say to me guys, Holy Moly Donut Shop. Holy Moly Donut Shop. Very good, you get one free Berkla every lunch break, huh? <laughs> come on guys. Kev, picking at his winky. Holy Moly Donuts, buddy, buddy. <laughs> right. The brother said, tell Ackman to go walk around the black cube. <laughs> Mad funny, yo. But you know, you do that though. Cause these people, hey man, you we know there's gonna be agents and different things, but see this dude to my he study, you know, he's been studying the, the, the Hebrew and all this stuff. They're never gonna get it. I was trying to get to the scripture, man. Well, I was trying to get to him, because he want he want like he want everything to connect, but it's not gonna connect. Let me read this. Yeah, holy moly donut shop. Trying to get the truth. So this is uh <laughs> this is John 14, verse 16. It says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. He's looking for something tangible to be able to say, I can prove 
I'm an Israelite. Through these means right here. See, I can show you an artifact, right? So I read the scriptures that went right over his head. I read in prophecy saying that uh, Israel going to be in Babylon the Great in the end times. He meant it, it went right over his head. I read him another prophecy saying that who's going to be in our land and went right over his head. Then he want to ask me why the Yemeni Jews and the uh, Ar Iranian Jews or whatever he said, man, why they uh, why they haven't been scattered? Well, they are scattered. If you live anywhere other than Israel, you're scattered, right? You are part of the diaspora. Also, you still got Israelites that are there in the Holy Land now. You got those uh, Ben Ami, Ben Ami Carter Israelites or whatever they are. Them Demona, that live over there in Demona, is them, them Israelites. You got Israelites that's, I put up a video earlier this week. It was a, a flashback of when me and Brother Yuan was uh, dealing with this guy down there near the Skywheel. He was born and raised in Israel because he was the second generation of those that went, out, went back over there, right? Them Israelites that were going off. He didn't even know about the chariots, man. You see? So you still got Israelites over there, but it's going to be just like in America, man. They're going to get, if they don't repent and the Lord don't save them, they're going to get destroyed over there. Same as over here. Anyway, you look, uh, uh, Israeli Mossad and all you people out, you ain't got the truth, right? You ain't got the truth. You ain't want none of this. Interested in even really dealing with the dudes, but again, we can't go off of appearance, right? We gotta, you know, deal. I, I mean, they, they was nice enough. They was nice dudes. He was walked by and said, you a Hebrew Israelite, right? He saw the fringes and whatnot, so it is what it is. We ain't got nothing to hide. Everything we do, out in the open man right we come out into the light matter of fact let me grab it we out in the, in the broad daylight with ours man we we you know hiding behind nothing we approachable you can come and test us test our knowledge we got it we don't hey we but going back to that scripture the holy spirit the world can't receive that the world is never going to accept us being israelites okay that's why they're going to all be toppled and they're going to fall man we ain't worried about the whole world accepting us as israelites we gonna ram it down your throat. We ain't gonna, uh, can we please be Israelite, Mr. Esau? Hell no, we are the Israelite, bitch. Whether you like it or not. And we gonna, hey, our Lord is gonna come and he gonna take back, he gonna take the throne, man. See? He's gonna take the throne. So I wanna grab, uh, damn it. So busy talking. Let's go, oh, I know what I want. Let's get John. John chapter three. Cause we don't we don't hide from the light. We bring out the light, all right. And through the through the spirit of of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh we are that light, man. And we have that light that's been given unto us from His Son. So this is uh John chapter three, in verse eighteen it says, "He that believeth on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High." When, and really, when I ask the guy that they believe in the Son of God. They don't believe in the sun, so it don't make no difference whether they really are Israelites or not. They're going to be destroyed if they don't believe on the sun. Because what did, the, what did the, uh, Yahweh Shai say? He said, no man can come to the Father except by me, man. And also, it's also written in the scripture that the only ones that are going to come to the sun are those that the Lord draws to him. Let's get those two real quick. But that was his sight, you know. A little, you know, a little something there. And believe me, when I came down here, I drove around. First, I went to the normal spot see what it looked like it was a few people there and i said you know what i might go ahead and, and teach on the street today but then you know the spirit was like you know what maybe it's a little bit too soon and as i drove around i said i'm just gonna go to the boardwalk like normal but every time man the most high he'll have you do what he wants you to do this is john 14 verse 5 thomas saith unto him lord we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. See? So in order to get to the Most High, you got to go through the door. What's the door of the sheep for? Is Yahweh Shai, man. If you try to go some other way, you're a thief and a robber. And the Lord ain't dealing with you now. Let's get John 6 real quick. 6 and 44, I believe. And then we'll get John chapter 10. Because these these are uh, these Arabs and these different nations that think are uh, the Old Testament Israelites that don't want to believe on the Son, you ain't gonna get to the Father without the Son. This is John 6, 44. No man could come to me except the Father which has sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. You see? So it's uh it's anonymous. You can't get to the Father without the Son. 
And you ain't gonna go to the son unless the father put the spirit on you in order for you to look to seek the son. So without, hey, they don't want a court. John 6 and 44 again, no man can come to the to no man come can come to me except the father which has sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. So Ishmael and Hotmed, right? And all the little Arabs, you ain't you ain't gonna you hey you ain't the people of the Lord, man. You Ishmaelites. Or either Elamites. Dude, and you, you saw him. You know, picking in his braces and shit. You know? Harry Arabs. It is what it is though, man. I mean you're gonna have, now don't get me wrong. You are going to have Israelites that come from that part of the world because it's in, you, if you read, uh, we'll go there and get it. Isaiah chapter 11. 11 and 11 on down. It talks about the different uh, Israelites over there in that part of the world, right? And we read it in Acts 2. Cretes and Arabians. You got Arab Israelites. And they're going to look like the people among who they live. And that, hey, and that's cool. If you're an Israelite, it don't matter how you look. We don't care, man. If you if you a seed of Israel, hey, hey, by all means, brother, repent and come on in, right? But don't come and try to peddle your philosophy. Because that Islam shit is, is worse than Christianity, man. It's worse than Christianity. There was something else I wanted to get. Let's just go real quick to Isaiah now, since I brought it up. Isaiah 11. And let's prove that there are Israelites in that part of the world. And he could have got some of these scriptures that they would have been patient, but they were just jumping all around, man. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. It says, In that day there shall be a root of Jesse. And, for, and uh, how's the sound right now? Because the wind picked up. Is it? Is it over... Is the wind overwhelming right now? Is it all right? I should have asked before, but you know, you know how it is. Is the wind pretty good? It's good to go? All right, the water, brother. So Isaiah 11 and verse 10, In that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. Which Gentiles? It's in the Old Testament, so of course you know it ain't talking about the other nations. It's talking about the Israelites, man. Matter of fact, um... Let's go to Isaiah chapter 40. Let me read this. Dealing with the other nations. Isaiah 40 and verse 15 says this. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing and they are counted to him less than vanity to lock it they are counted unto him they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity so you know when the lord talking about the gentiles he ain't talking about the other nations he talking about his people that are scattered among them back in isaiah 11 and 10 in that day and in that day there shall be a root of jesse the root of jesse is yahweh shai yahweh shai is indirectly speaking unto all the nations where Israelites dwell right now through his men with the Holy excuse me, with the Holy Spirit upon them. Which shall stand for an ensign of the people, to it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria. We was in the Assyrian captivity, right? The ten tribes. They went around the Horn of Africa and sailed to this side of the world. But there were many that stayed behind, right? As the elder apostles always say, you got a lot of Ephraim that, that's still in, in Syria right now. Syria and Assyria over there in Nineveh, right? Or ancient Nineveh, which today will be called, not called Nineveh now. From Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam. Wouldn't them dudes Elamites? Yeah, they was Elamites. East Indians, Arabs, Pakistanis. Right? All those are Elamites, man. And they and they, they was right. They are Hebrews. They're Hebrew Elamites. Or if they if they part of that diaspora, they are Israelites, in fact. See? And Jake gone. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. You know, and the people that live in India and Pakistan, those are El Elamites. The people in Iran, around that area, those are Persians, so-called Persians, but they all come from Elam, man. They basically, they go back to the same people, just like how you got Moab and Ammon, right? Which is the Chinese and the Japanese, but you also got the Filipinos, which they kind of look similar, but the Filipinos go back to Japan. 
Verse 12 says, And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. So you got Israelites among all these nations, man. Just because you think because you've been studying, and he said it, he said he studied in the Jewish school. So he think he know a little something, but you don't know nothing. And every time I brought up them damn, them, them phony Jews, they wanted to jump to something else. When I read that Ezekiel 36 and 5, he couldn't even really fathom it. He couldn't get it. But it's all right though. For now, you can know, you can just run that holy moly donut shop and leave the real prophesying to the men of the Lord. <laughs> so let's go back to John chapter 3. And sometimes you need that. You need a little bit of excitement, you know. And the Lord, hey, I, I tried not to be bothered with people, but he brought people anyway. But that, hey, that's, that's your howl, man. Your howl, Bashi, your howl, shy. He's going to do what he want to do.